Hey everybody, happy Thursday, and if you have come over from Ingrid Nilsson's channel, welcome! Um, the way that my channel works is I put out a video Mondays, which is just a mental health topic. It's something that I come up with um, or one of you can recommend. And on Thursdays, I put out another video, and that is today's. And it's either an FAQ where you use the hashtag KDFAQ and you ask your question below my uh, Monday video or on my website, katymorton.com. Um, you can ask it on either of those places and that's how it can happen to come up in one of these videos. And then Saturday, my third and final video of the week is a journal topic because I really believe in journaling and it just kind of gets you going. So that is how it works and I hope that you enjoy. So today's question is actually something that I think is extremely helpful and it may be something that I potentially, you know, talk about more. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. So the question is, and I'm looking down because I have my laptop here, but I wanted to be festive with my Christmas tree. Okay, it says, um, I wish there were good psychiatrists near me or I'd see one. Currently, my she's talking about, um, she asked this in reference to my video with Barry, the psychiatrist. Currently, my family doc treated me since I was a child, handles the, handles the meds, and I've seen a therapist since I was younger, and they work together. My therapist doesn't take my insurance now, so if I want to see her, I must pay out of pocket each visit. That can get really expensive. I haven't seen her in a really long time due to that. I discussed one time with my doc who he thinks might be a good fit for me, and he said, go as far west from here as you can, since, in my, since my case is so complex. I really wished he was joking, but I know that he's right. We live in a really small rinky dink area where any healthcare seems like a complete joke. Are there any recommendations that you can give for this? Besides journaling, of course, because I talk about it a lot. I think maybe some of your viewers can relate to maybe feeling like they live in the middle of nowhere and mental health care doesn't really seem up to par. I'm gonna sit this down because I have other things I'm gonna talk about. I thought this was really a really, really good question because I know a lot of you live in the middle of nowhere or not near city centers. I'm actually really fortunate to live in Los Angeles because that means that I have access to uh, practitioners, whether it be therapy, psychiatrists, regular doctors, that other people don't, and I also have a huge selection. I mean, in my building alone, there may be 15 other therapists just in my building that I work in. So that gives you a rough idea of how many options people have. Um, so what do we do if we live in the rinky-dink part of town and we don't have many options? I have ideas. The first of which is workbooks. This is uh, called Hope for Today. Can, I feel like Grace. Can you see it? Can you see it? But this is a book for um, Al-Anon, which is if you're a family member or a loved one of someone who is an alcoholic, there are books and this has like each day it has little you know, stories and things that you can kind of read and help motivate yourself and help you keep um, yourself healthy from a lot of the things that we do when we are in an alcoholic home, a lot of the traits that we struggle with. There's also workbooks um, like this for uh, self-harm. These are just ones that I have. The anger workbook, we can see that. The anxiety and phobia workbook. And I don't have my DBT one because I left it at the office because I'm working on it with a client. But I would encourage you to hop on Amazon or to go to your local bookstore, look through the self-help section on the issue that you're struggling with. There are a lot of amazing workbooks out there and honestly, in a lot of cases, I feel like it's what we put into it. So if you are having a hard time, you can actually work, I mean, through this on your own. I know it can feel really overwhelming, but we have to start somewhere and if we don't have enough practitioners around or it's too expensive, this is a great way to start and a great way to start understanding yourself. I think memoirs from people who struggle with a lot of the things that we're struggling with can also be really helpful because it gives us a little insight and maybe we'll have one of those aha moments because that can be almost like group therapy, those types of things, because we're hearing other people's stories. Another option is to join online communities like katymorton.com. Um, I also know that on Facebook there are a lot, I would encourage all of you to leave links to places that you know online that have helped you. I know Seven Cups of Tea is a great app and a great resource for extra support and it's just peer support from my understanding. But there's a lot of Facebook groups that are just the same, whether it's depression, eating disorders, anxiety, postpartum depression, no matter what you're going through, there are people online who are talking about it and trying to help each other and support each other no matter where you live, right? And I think, the last thing is having supportive family and friends. And I know that we can't pick our family and oftentimes we're just like, oh, that's not gonna work. But I think that 
having friends and building friendships with people that you can actually sit down, get together, have a cup of coffee and talk about what's really going on and get some much needed empathy and support. And I think that those are some great ways to get help when you feel like you live in the middle of nowhere. And hello, I have my free workbooks on my site and my videos. And the more we share these, I think the less people will feel alone and like they can't get the help that they need and deserve. Um, and as always, leave your comments. Let us know of places that you go online to you know, get some extra support workbooks that have really helped you, um, anything like that, because the more we help each other, the better, right? We're a community working together. And because it is the beginning of the month, and I have some Patreon patrons. If you haven't hopped over to my uh, Patreon page, I'll link the video here. But um, as a thank you to all of you, I said that I would put all of your name in the credits. And so I just wanna give a wholehearted thank you to the people who have um, supported the channel and reached out immediately when I asked if you, ha you, know, if you were able to do it. And you did, and you rose to the occasion, and it makes it so much easier for me, and it makes it so much better for our community, and gives me more time that, and energy that I can put into the channel. So I love you all, thank you so much, and that will be the names that come up after this. I will see you on Saturday, bye!